creating a trip and pre-trip DVIR. To start your day and create a trip, touch today's graph at the top of the log screen. It will open up today's log and you will see the four tabs across the top titled Logs, Trips, Sign, and Share. Touch the second tab from the left at the top of your screen labeled Trips. At first glance, you will see no trips. To manually create a trip, you will need to touch the plus sign in the top right corner of your screen. You will see a white list of all the vehicles available from your carrier that only you and your drivers within your company may connect to. It is very important to choose and connect to the correct vehicle at this point. We are using truck number 128, so we will touch it now. Once you choose the correct vehicle, it will drop all the vehicle information into your trip form, which is the information that is used to fill in your daily log or your rods for the day. The last and final way to create a trip is to start driving. This is not the best way to start a trip and it is not recommended. This way you are not verifying your information and you are also not doing a pre-trip DVIR driver vehicle inspection report that you are required to do. Once you move your vehicle, the pre-trip DVR icon turns from orange to gray. It is not available to go back and do an inspection later because you have already driven. Once you choose your vehicle, you can go and add your trailer as we will do for a sample shown with trailer 12345. Below your trailer number, you will see documents. You can take pictures of an invoice or bill of lading by choosing camera, or you can choose a file if you already have one on your device by choosing gallery and choose your picture at that point. Now, touch the save button in the top right corner of your screen. Now it's time to do a pre-trip DVIR. Touch the orange button that says pre-DVIR. It will open a screen that has three tabs at the top labeled General, Vehicle, and Sign. On the first screen labeled General, you will see the current time, your carrier name, your current location, and your odometer. Please make sure these are all filled out. If you need to fill in your location because your device left it blank or you would like to change your location to be more specific or accurate, just go to the box and type in what you would like. Also, make sure your odometer is filled in and not left blank. This will be matched against your electronic information in the case of an audit or roadside inspection. Once that is done, go to the second tab at the top named Vehicle. You should see your vehicle at the top and any trailers you are pulling. A separate DVIR is required in both vehicle and trailer. The default is No Defects Found. Touch the words Add Remove Vehicle Defects. You will see 14 different categories, including a miscellaneous other category, that you can add anything else you might need to write in on your inspection. Each category opens up with the required specifics to check. We will touch Parking Brake System. If there is a defect, then you would check the box by touching it, and it will turn orange as we have done by checking brake drums and brake tubing. Once complete, touch save or the back arrow and go to the next category. Once all categories are complete, touch save or the back arrow and it will take you back to the beginning of the vehicles tab page and you will see all your defects you check that need attention. Now touch the sign tab, sign your name and touch save in the top right corner. It will take you back to the Trips tab where you have Trip 1. You will now see your pre-DVR button that was once orange and it is now gray, which shows you that your pre-DVR is now complete. You are ready to start driving.